you know what? It's so hard, but then we're having Void going Joker. You know what? This is this is gonna be a good good pick for Void. I feel like Joker Joker feels like the the new Smash Four Sheik, where just super uh, quick and tight aerial, really good combo game, you know, really good edge guarding. But we'll see how Toski's uh, Snake is able to uh, match up to it. And yet again, here we go, opening up with a quick uh, grab combo. Toski, you know, answering back with a quick dare, but yet again, just gets sucked into the void right here. Ooh, tries a forward title off the get up option, but Noah just going to be misfacing it slightly bit, but manages to come down aggressively with the dare. Now Toski getting on the ledge option, but not going to be able to find it. Goes super high for recovery and just gets sniped out of the air with the up B. And again. No, you can tell. Oh, did he just blow? Oh, that's unfortunate. He accidentally blew himself up. You know, I feel like as a snake man, you got to know where you place your grenades, where you place your C4, because, you know, that can really help you, but it can also kill you if you don't know if you're not paying attention. And yet again, quickly catching that, that air dodge has stayed with the down air or down tilt. Here we go. Here's your offstage situation. You know what? Just gets him with the jab off of gra off of the, the jump. Who tried catching the landing option, but you know not going to be able to find it. But was late to pull the trigger on the fair or the four tail. Gets a grab. Gets a ghost word down throw. You know, opting to just watch where Toski lands. And you know what? The bomb is going to blow him up. He re grabs it. Does not able to do a whole lot, but that back air just lasts so long. It manages to go through the Aegon and hit Joker all at the same time. He's off stage, gets to the back air, but not going to be able to quite reach him in time. And yet again, you know, both players are just really struggling to find that kill, but you know, he finds it first with that fair one to forward air. And again, here we go again. You know, I like that. You know, he tried baiting out an option. Knows that, like, okay, he's probably going to use up tilt. So let me just go back down to the ledge and see what he does from there. Who gets the grab, down throw, and you know what? Not enough percent. I feel like most snakes at that percent should have gone for the the tech chase read, but yet again, because that won't true combo to like 140, 150ish percent. Gets the bear. He's off stage and gets another bear, and that will be it. Yet again, Void takes it. Yet again, that was a three stock for Void right there. I feel like Toski just really struggled to get back to stage a, a lot of the game. All right. And here we go to game two. You know, still staying the Joker, and we have the Snake. You know, we'll see if Toski can able to adapt into the new matchup. And we got a new commentator on the mic. Please introduce yourself. I cannot hear you, unfortunately. Uh, there. Okay, you? Great. Yep, yep, now I can hear okay. All right. All right, All right yes. great. So introduce yourself to the... the I'm Jack the Pack. Um, I'm, I've been on and off commentary here in SoCal for a, uh, about a year now. Uh, I was living in China for a while, so now I'm back here, and I'm happy to be right. doing something I love here. So we're watching uh, Snake on Joker. Right. right here. And yet again, the Joker is just very, very impressive character and a lot of quick aerials, a lot of just super strong moves that can't be punished, not really. You know, so how do you feel about the matchup? About this matchup? Yeah. I think any matchup against Snake is, is uh, it's very important that you know it and, and know, you know, what, what you can punish and what, what you can't. Uh, the grenades uh, allowing Snake to escape a lot of combos right. and maybe a reversal in certain situations. Um, and uh, Snake just being so heavy, Joker needs those early kills. He needs uh, Arson and uh, am I saying that right? Yeah, Arson. Arson. Okay, yeah, yeah to uh, get those and uh, and if if he can get that, I think uh, definitely uh, Joker is at a huge advantage. Right. Ooh, manages to get the parry into the down throw. Not gonna be able to follow it up, but manages to toss a grenade up and you know it trades, and so he was able to get the grenade extra damage, but. Yet again, 118 is still not down throw up to percent yet, so he needs about another 10% maybe. So maybe if he falls a, a little bit. That. Yeah. Ooh, but yet again, you don't need a whole lot of percent to die to that bear. 
No, that is a strong move. And wow, we see a lot of jokers go for the swag up B there. Uh, oh. oh okay. Yeah, you saw Void try and go for that like super early up B kill. I don't even think it would have like hit Snake out of his up B, but you know what? Like he had a full stock to basically like play around with. And that, you know what? Yeah, that's an interesting interaction. I think it's a it's a command grab though, right? So uh, it is a command grab on the it. ground, but in the air it, it hits like a projectile. Okay, that's really interesting. Uh, I wonder if Void knew that or if he was just disrespecting. I think he just wanted to hit him just to see if it like would kill, you know. Yeah, sometimes you in the middle of matches you, you come up with uh, something you're thinking about. Like, wait, will this work? You know, that you won't think of when you're track practicing or in training. Right. Kind of funny how that is. Okay, but we have Arson coming back, and uh, and Toski at a very high percent here. So Void looking to close this out, while well, he has this incredible kill power that Arson provides. I mean, you know, he's just looking for that fair into up air, and yet again, he finds it and lands it. You know, that fair one is such a good combo tool. It pretty much leads into your imagination. It leads into up air. It leads into up smash. You know, it just pretty much, it's Joker's 